Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to our Earth Week series. My name is Zenobia Godschalk and I am the SVP of Communications here at Hedera Hashgraph. Today, I have the pleasure of being joined by Shannon Coble, who is the co-founder of Suku. Hello, Shannon. Hello. How are you? Great, great. Really, really excited to be talking about this today. Yes, thank you for joining us. So, you know, I know there are a number of folks in our community who do, knew, do know what Suku is, but for those who don't, um, can you give us a little bit of an overview on Suku and your role there? Sure, sure. So to start off, I'm Shannon Coble. I'm a, one of the co-founders here at Suku. To tell you a little bit about our team, um, we are made up of former Deloiters, primarily from the Blockchain Lab. Um, where they have been building solutions and blockchain solutions specifically since 2008. Our team came together driven on bringing transparency and authenticity through blockchain um, with a very strong focus on sustainability. Um, and for the past four years, we have been building a blockchain-based track, tracking and tracing solution called Suku which is essentially the foundation for our infinite NFT marketplace. And I'll tell you more about that here very soon. Awesome. Um, yes, we would love to hear about that. We are sort of at the tail end of Earth Week here. So, you know, we've been talking to folks and a number of applications about what being energy efficient and green means to them. I think there's been a lot of discussion around that, especially as it relates to NFTs and their potential consumption of energy. So would love to just hear a little bit, you know, from you about what that means to you and what that means to your team. Sure, as you said, sustainability is in the top of everybody's mind now. Um, a little bit about me personally, I, I live here in Boulder um, and everywhere you drive, you see sustainability written on building walls showcased on windows, you walk down aisles, you see it stamped on groceries you're about to buy, clothes you're about to put on. Um, and it's one thing it shows to me that it's no longer an individual message. Um, it's not just a mission for individuals. We are in the red zone, according to the UN, and it is imperative that we protect our planet. And not just on an individual level, recycling, driving energy, energy efficient vehicles, but also at a company level. We need to have companies and brands involved, not just to save the planet, which is very important, but it's also what their customers want. 33% of customers buy now with sustainability in mind. And this is from a 2020 Unilever study. And that number and percentage is just increasing every day. And brands and companies can benefit by being part of the sustainable sustainability solution, not just to save the planet, but also because it brings in customers to them. They, customers want to buy and be part of the sustainability solution. And here at Suku, that's what we do. We enable companies to be able to be part of saving the planet. We help them quantify sustainability. We are able to help them calculate it so they see it right in front of them and figure out what is the best next steps to be able to up their game and to be part of saving the planet. Great. And um, you know, for those who have been following Suku this week, they may have seen that this week you uh, launched something called the Sustainable Tokens Consortium. Um, can you share with us a little bit more about that and why you thought there was a need for it and also what you hope to achieve with it? Sure. So Suku came together with DreamView and the ARIA network to essentially turn the current NFT narrative on its head. We came together to create eco-friendly NFTs that use a fraction of the carbon emissions that current NFT platforms use. We also have created a solution for carbon negative transactions. Tell you a little bit about our partners. DreamView are CIG masters. They come to us from Hollywood. They worked right alongside of, of George Lucas, creating computer generated imagery in films such as Star Wars, 
The Mask, Harry Potter, just to name a few. Um, so we're very honored to work with them and create creatives um, in the NFT world. Tell you a little bit about ARIA Network. Um, they leverage the Sufu platform to power the ARIA exchange to mint original and dynamic NFTs on behalf of artists, celebrities, creators, athletes, leagues, just to name a few. So we're very, very honored to come together with reviewing and ARIA to really be part again of the sustainability solution. One thing I want to note too, in order to make eco-friendly NFTs a reality, we've also partnered with Carbon Analytics and Moss.Earth. Now brands and artists can mint NFTs, they can calculate carbon emissions through our calculator, purchase carbon credits, and then use these credits to help support climate certificate certified, excuse me, um, projects such as building trees in, in the Amazon to be part, again, and I keep in reinforcing this, to be part of the sustainability solution. Just to paint a little picture about the NFT world today and current platforms, current platforms use large amounts of electricity and CO2 and emit it out into the atmosphere. I'm sure you guys have all been hearing about this all week long. And pla these platforms have been documented for emitting admissions out into the atmosphere to the level of 10,000 vehicles driving in one year <laughs> and 50 million pounds of coal burnt. Um, you know, and what's a real negative about this is for the artists in particular is they're getting a lot of backlash. They wanna be part of this new NFT space. They wanna put their creative out there. They want to, um, a lot of these artists wanna mint digital twins of their works that they've created out here and they're getting backlash. And now what we are providing is a solution to this. Um, and now they can be part of this NFT, re, uh, NFT industry, be part of all of the benefits, and at the same time, be part of saving the planet through using eco-friendly NFTs. And it sounds like you're putting together all the pieces, right? No, no individual pieces of silo and none of them, you know, can... No. Um, no, that is the one thing about the, the Infinite platform. It is a one-stop shop. Um, you know, we are working with DreamView as the creatives. We um, have the carbon eco-friendly component, which is really essential. Um, all the different pieces needed are right there for artists to just go and start to create and in an eco-friendly way. That's great. And, you know, we've had a lot of folks, you know, share, I, um, for those who haven't read it, there is a report from one of the DAPs building on Hedera called Power Transition that talks about, um, you know, Hedera's power consumption versus that of other distributed ledgers. Um, as you guys go through and you're starting to build out both your product offering and your ecosystem, um, are there any things that you can share about the build out and about what you're learning along the way, both about Hedera as well as just, you know, making sure that you have the greenest platform possible? Well, one thing, working with Hedera has been really life-changing for us. You guys have really allowed us to track and trace transparently um, these NFTs and being able to then ensure and prove to the industry at large that this is possible, that it is possible to do net negative um, emissions and minting these NFTs, which it is the art of the possible. And that is the power. And that's one of the greatest lessons that we're learning is the power of team, um, you know, and working together and surrounding ourselves with the partners that are aligned to the same values as us, that is where the real difference is made. Um, so that's some of the things that we're learning, even internally in our company, you know, the force of team and how we have come together. Um, you know, one of the greatest things that I um, love about the power of team is one mind by itself can never really innovate. It's the power of all the multiple minds together to be that can really create a solution that can change and get us out of this red zone. <laughs> and that I think I feel is one of the greatest components that we have here. 
the SUKU team first and collectively as a group with Hedera, DreamView, Aria, Carbon Analytics, and Moss.Earth, we really will make a difference and bring consumers, brands, companies, everybody along the way that want to be part of this also to really, really protect our earth. Well, Shannon, you know, it's so it's so lovely to hear this story. And I love to hear, I mean, every day we are hearing about applications building on top of Hedera that, you know, really want that um, sustainability component. It's so exciting that you guys are bringing together so many people to work on this challenge. Um, before we wrap up today, is there anything else you want to add? Or is there anywhere that um, you'd like to direct folks who want to learn more about Suku and what you guys are doing? Just be out, be on the lookout. Launch date here very, very soon, and very excited um, for this new and very exciting world of NFTs. And come one, come all, and help save the planet at the same time. Wonderful! Thank you so much for spending time with us today. And uh, Shannon, we look forward to continuing to follow you on your journey. Great! Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs>